Hi, my name is Dennis Schroeder. Uh, I'm the founder of the Price of Freedom Foundation, and the purpose of this video is to talk about why. Why is the Price of Freedom Foundation uh, needed? Why do we think that it is? I think it really has to do with several things. Number one is the fact that I think almost everybody has had the experience of wondering a little bit more about who their ancestors were. I mean, why is Ancestry.com so popular? Uh, it's because as we get older and we get to a certain age, we want to know. Well, we believe that those who uh, pay the ultimate price for our freedom, uh, those who die while in military service to our nation, deserve to be able to, to capture the story of their life and make it available and accessible uh, to those that come after. Uh, we have the technology to do so. Uh, we just need the, uh, the will and the drive to collect that uh, and to consolidate it so that uh, the next, next generation, the generations after that, will be able to know who they are without having to search uh, uh, in, in depth. There's a more immediate reason, however, and that is that families who have lost someone in the service, uh, typically within six months to a year after their loved one has died, have the sense that their loved one has been forgotten and that their sacrifice is no longer honored. So we want to be able to tell the story of their loved one's life um, truthfully, uh, but also respectfully and be able to focus on things like what were their goals and aspirations, what were their successes, what did they struggle with in life. Be able to tell the whole story about who this person was. If we can get that story into a wide audience, as wide, as wide an audience as we possibly can, then we will address those specific issues that those families who sacrificed so much um, have. And third, we believe that the American public as a whole needs to know uh, a better, uh, the, uh, actually they need to know the truth. They need to know the truth about who serves and who serves and gives their life in service. And my own experience, my 24 years of service, uh, will tell you that that um, most of the, the American public who has never served, who does not have a con direct connection to the service through their family, have incorrect assumptions. And what we want to do is to tell the truth, tell the stories, and help the American people get a better understanding of who actually serves our nation and who puts their life on the line for us. So that's it um, in, in a nutshell about why we think this is important work and why it needs to be done and why it should be done now. We appreciate your support uh, in this effort. Thank you.